Welcome everyone to my little run through of the Excavation Earth expansion at Longsley Museum. I'm going to be doing a solo run through to try and show you how the solo mode works with the expansion. Uh, we've got here the museum board which is one of the modules. Uh, I'm using one of the expansion characters which is one of the modules and I will be using some of the mysterious artifacts which is an example one over here which are also one of the modules. So everything set up. That's my player area with my cards here. That's Zoo's player area with his cards set up for the round one and some very much prototype um, player aids for the solo mode. Uh, you'll notice I'm using some of the things from the um, promo items from the first Kickstarter, so the coins. Um, I'm also using just some bags that I got to put the tokens in because otherwise they fall over and go everywhere. So let's get started. I've got my two workers out i put my third worker on here because I'm going to go for blue, I think, and let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think, move one, because I want to pick up that one, and I want to get this one at some point, but I'm here as well, so we don't need to do any more movement necessarily. Do I want to be in a better position for selling blues? That's a better market for blue, so I'll do two, three, uh, two, sorry, there, because I want to be there. So that's a total of two movement. I'll spend my two fuel cards to do that. And then second action, I'm going to do a blue market action. Not market. What's the right word? Excavate. So I'm going to take that one and that one. Put them on my player board. There we go. So I'm going to take a sample of the blue... Uh, what's that? Recycled symbol or something. And also the serious artifact doesn't get a sample. I have to put a guard directly on it. That's one of the rules of the Mysterious Artifacts, and that you can see is a little cuckoo clock. It's quite fun. Okay, that's my two actions. So it's over to Zoo's turn. What is the Zoo going to do? He's going to excavate. One to two artifacts of the most popular colour. most popular colour you can see here at the moment is blue, uh, just like I took. And he can get one blue, so he will take the blue. That goes into his area, and he will... Take a sample, that is the little rockfall symbol, so that goes there. So he's done that action. Next up is excavate again. He's going to have yellow or orange, which is the most popular. You see, orange is most popular. And he can get two of the oranges. There are two oranges out there, two different types. So he's going to grab those, put them in his cargo hold, and take samples. So that's a little share symbol and a little rockfall symbol. Nice and easy for his turn. Right, my second turn, I probably want to start getting some guys out into the market, some traders, so I can start selling. Um, I do also have, uh, there's a blue and a red um, custodian there, ready. I do have red cards, I don't have any blue cards. Um, but I don't need the colour to match there, I just need to have the artefacts. So what I think I will do, I'm going to go for a... I um, oh no, that's silly of me putting that there actually, because I realise I have not got any of that symbol on my cards. So that was a wasted move really. Um, where would be better for blue? There's no really blue. I'm going to have to go and market somewhere else I think. So I've got plenty of this shape here, so I think I'm going to head for that market. And that requires movement, so that's going to be one movement. And then I think I'm going to head around for the red down here as well. So use the rest of my movement up. So two, that's much more rare than these, so I'm going to stay on that one. So that was a two movement, I'm going to have to waste a three for that. So I want this guy to go somewhere more like hell, I think I do, because I do have that little symbol there, I'll put him back up to there. Um, unless I'm going to go for the yellow, but I have no yellow cards, so there's no point in me actually going for the yellow artifact at the moment. So, I've done the move, and I want to then mark it in there, I have two of that colour, so I may, and symbol, so I may as well use that. So I'm going to do a market into that market, which means I'm going to put a trader in there, and I'm going to push in. Blue is what I want, so I'm going to push in a white and a blue. And the back of the market. There we go. Oh, they've all gone everywhere. And that bumps the red out. And the red goes straight back onto there, decreasing the value of red. Two actions done. Back to Zoo. Let's see what he does. He's going to do a command into the kind of Star Empire type thing, so he's going to put a cube into that market as a trader, and then he's going to put an envoy into that command centre. OK, 
Okay, and his next action is another excavate. Um, and it is, let me just try and focus on that a bit better. No, it's not going to focus. Okay. Uh, it's an orange or blue, which is the most popular. Um, blue is more popular, but there are no blues out there. Orange, he already has one. So let's just have a quick check of what happens. He will only accept them if he only does not have any samples. And he can't do any of those, so instead he is going to uh, acquire from the black market. So he wants blue preferentially. And checking his ability doesn't have that symbol, so he's going to buy that from the market, from the black market. So it goes into his hidden hold, and that cost him four of his starting five credits. So let's just get back. His change. There we go. And that was his second action of the round. So that's good. Oh yes, take a sample of that, Mr. Zoo. And that is sorry, that one there. Lovely. So my next action. Um, I could sell that blue. I can't sell the mysterious artifact. They have to be either sent to the mothership for research or um, sent to the museum. So I may as well sell the blue while I can. Um, I kind of want to keep hold of that symbol in case I want to mark it into there. Um, orange and purple. There's not much point going in for orange actually at the moment because there's only one orange left and I haven't only got one. So I may as well only use the orange card. I'll do that. So I am going to sell my one blue artifact out of the game. Let's just put it over there for now. And I'm going to sell to this market here. That's my blue artifact, so I get that. So that's four credits for that one. They go to the other ship. This gets promoted up to using that one. And the blue gets me an extra nine for most popular, so that's 13. And that's the money I make, so let's get 10 and the three. There we go, 13. And that, I believe, is my sale. I'm just checking I've done everything I need to, yes. And I have a second action, and I think I may as well make use of the fact that that is a blue there. <clears throat> and I have an excess of red cards, I'm just going to drop the red card. Um, unless I want to get red first, and there's a question. If I get that red first, I could send both of them up. That would be quite nice as one action. Let's try that. <clears throat> so I'm going to, yeah, I'll use that one. Do I want to try and move? down to here first with anyone. So he can get down there in one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four. He can get there in four. Let's do that. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's my four fuel gone. And that I believe was my second action. So let's see what Zoo does now. He's gonna sell one of the artifacts, the most lucrative markets. So he only has one trader at the moment, so he can only sell to that one. And there's more orange than blue, but blue is more popular. <clears throat> so we can have a look at the little sell reference sheet here. So colours you can sell most of, uh, you can only sell one, so that's either those lowest listed value, random choice, and the most lucrative. So you can only sell at one market, you can sell both the colours. Um, the most lucrative market is going to be selling there for oranges because that's going to give them more money. <clears throat> so the lowest listed value. Now the list's value is a three, so he'll sell that one even though it's only one uh, person there. It is the lowest list of value. So he sells one blue to this market, so that's two credits, and that gets promoted. So he's already taken back control of there. Uh, this guy comes here and these go home. Uh, he gets the two for that and the nine for the most popular, so he gets 11 credits. Let's grab him his 11 credits. And that's really for a sell. So his next action is a survey. <clears throat> so in rounds one to two, he will draw a card and then discard the leftmost add a cube to it. So let's do that. Here we go, here's the lineup where it was. So he's having a blue, he's discarding that, the orange, marking that. He then gets to draw two blue from the pile. So into the bag here. And he's going to buy the most popular. Sorry, not most popular. He's going to buy the one that he wants the most. 
uh, that he doesn't have. Now he has only the Rockfall in blue, so he needs both of those. So we'll look at our survey priority list here. Um, Prize one he can afford, he can afford both of them. Has no sample of, has both of them. Highest listed value, they're both the same, so a random choice. So let's just mix them up. I love that one. Okay, so he's got the helmet, and that's going to cost him uh, double the value, six credits. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, change for the ten. That's four credits change. And I will change up his uh, mini coins in a minute. Uh, he takes a uh, sample of it. So that is... Um, now which one did he get? No, he does already have that one. I'm mistaken. That's the one he doesn't have. Same price, doesn't make a difference. So he will get that one. And that one goes on the board. That goes here under me. And he's already almost finished a whole row there. So that's everything he does on the survey action. Was that? And we've got left, four left. That was his two actions. Sell and survey. Put bag back. So I'm now set up to do acquire a red. So let's do that. Let's say I uh, use that one. I'll require one of each of those. Go on my player board and I'll take a sample of those. So we've got the share symbol and we've got the roundabout symbol. There we go. And then my second action I am sending to the museum. So I'll show you how this works here. So I can send one of the colour matching and one of the, any other colour. So I'll do that. So I will send my cheapest, I think. It does depend where I want to put them though, because we have to match these symbols. Um, now this is, I really want researchers, which are the bonus for finishing this column here. But I also want reverse engineering cards, which are also very nice. Um, so I think, so that's the red I really want to send, because it's the cheapest one. So I will send that into here, uh, but I'm going to match that. So I'll actually send them there because that's colour matching that. I'll also, and you have to send a security guard with that, who becomes a tour guide. Uh, he already has one on there, so he can go up there straight away. And he matches any symbol. So do I want to have a, let's show that a bit better, a reverse engineering card. I'm going to get a broker anyway, or two credits, and possibly get a, a, um, a researcher. I'm going to go for that one, I think. Because then not only do I get the colour match and therefore the top bonus, I finish that column and I get the other bonus. And that's not going to be very useful at the moment, but I will show you what that does in a minute. So first of all, let's see the bonuses here. So I get a broker for that one. And the broker is you get to pick a colour and put it on your player board. And in the future you can discard it to change the colour of a card. And I will show you how that works. Um, so I have got red still on my board. I may as well take a red. Um, unless I wanted a purple because I don't know I could change purple to anything. That might be more useful actually. Let's do that. Okay, so I have a broker now. Then I get a reverse engineering card, so I get to draw two and pick one. This is what I picked up. You can see that with the light. So action cards are the most popular coloured colours that match all six market actions. Uh, so that is very, very nice. So basically the most popular colour, if it was say purple, which it isn't, but let's say it is, then that symbol would match all the markets. Very powerful. And the other one is when you take an exhibit action, draw an action card, then discard an action card. So cycling cards through the deck. So that I think is less useful, which is why it's got more credits at the end. I'm going to keep this one. That's pretty nice. That one just goes, it's, I think it goes out of the game, but I'm going to put it at the bottom just for now. Okay. That's both of those because I colour match, so I got the top bonus. Uh, this one I get the bottom bonus as well. And I just need to remind myself of what that symbol means. So I have a quick look in the prototype rules here. Um, here we go. So the comes in the middle eight. Option you move one of your envoys or traders uh, from market or one of your observers if playing with the observation uh, barge to any market command centre. So I haven't got any in the market. I do have one here. Um, now he is winning that. I'm going to get less credit, so I think I am actually going to move it. And then finally what happens is we get another 
Magical Stadium come in, so it's going to be a purple. And he gets to be pushed in from the top. Pushes in, pushes down, pushes down. Whew. That was a big turn. So we did... We excavated the red, and then we sent a load of stuff to the museum. And we got a power, so that most popular action card matches all icons very nice. And I've got to remember my special power here, which is that when I take a command action, I can also resolve an excavate action. Pretty good. So let's see what the zoo does now. He is going to market one to two traders in different markets where he has no traders. So he has got none at all. So we're going to have a look at the market flow chart, which is here. Uh, most into buys, most popular artifacts zoo has. He has blue and orange. So those two are going to be the most, because all the others have just got single colours. So that's just going to go in both of those. There we go. And then he's going to add one wire buyer, one wild buyer, and one coloured buyer to each market where he just decided to trade. And it's going to be the most popular artifact colour. So now he has the most popular is blue, and he has blue, so he pushes a white and blue in here, which bumps the red out, and another white and blue in here, and that's just a skew of four. So that's his first action. His second action is going to be snipe. So he's going to do a sale. Sell one artifact at the market with the most interested buyers in artifacts and colours. So he has fewer stuff. Now he has one of each. So it's actually just going to be. Um, let's have a look at the snipe action and artifacts to sell. So colour has views of is the same. Highest popularity is blue. So he's selling a blue. Um, if there is a choice of which one he wants to sell, he will usually sell the. Uh, I think it's random, but he'll sell the cheapest. Um, and that's going to give him more. It's going to sell to there. So let's first of all promote this guy to the mothership. He's tied me on there. Look, he's grabbed that already, so I moved to the wrong place. He's going to get eight credits for that, plus nine for being the most popular. So he's going to get 17. This guy comes home. He doesn't have any blue still. So he's going to get 17 credits from that. So that's 15. And then I'm going to have to have three back for his other two. There we go. And that's his sale. I believe that's everything we need to do for his sale. And that's his action. So, I have one card left. Purple is not most popular, so my reverse engineering card does nothing. I might have I want to do a command action. Because I can get in on second place on that market now. Because I moved it off, I no longer have any presence there. And, or I also could change the colour using the broker, which would be nice if I wanted yellows. Uh, but there are some purples, but I'd need to move there first. So I'm not actually on. Actually, that's the only place I can actually do the action. So I think I will use my broker. He goes back to the main supply board. So I'll use my broker, change the colour to red, but keep the sim while well, the symbol's relevant. Um, and I'm going to do. Um, no, I'm going to change the colour to red but it's the same symbol because I'm going to do a command action. So I get to put a trader in there, a trader in here, and then I get to excavate that for my special ability. So I have another red, and it's the... Oh, I have the roundy one, so that wasn't very useful overall, but I couldn't have moved anywhere. But it doesn't mean I can potentially sell two in the future, which is quite nice. Uh, I've used that card. That's me done, I've run out of actions. And the zoo, finally, he will do a market action. Um, so he's going to sign to two different markets where he hasn't got presents, uh, matching the... Um, so let's just check the market, because I'm forgetting as well. Most interested by for most popular colour, most popular is still blue. He already has a marker there, so he's going to do either that one that one or that one because they all have one each. So randomly let's just go in that one that one. I think it's going to push white and blue into those markets. Which is really not good for me if he sells there. So the purple's been devalued. Uh, blue is completely out now. Push those into there. It should be white first really. Yellow comes out. And there we go. We have got all his markets done. Then we are going to do a snipe action. So one artifact to the market with the most buyers. 
So he is going to do he, the fewest artifacts he has is blue. He's going to sell blue. Again, not good for me because he's selling the most popular. And <clears throat> we'll go here quickly. Um, in the markets, most interested buyers are most lucrative markets. So, where's he going to sell his blue? There are three matching buyers there, two matching buyers there, three matching buyers there. It's going to be one of those two. We can see here which one's going to make the most difference. That will get him five points. That will just um, that will get him five, but I will still have points there. So he's no presence in there. So we'll sell that one, I think. So he's going to sell. That's two, four, six. He gets promoted up. Uh, that's going to have the game. So he's going to get six points for those. Those guys now come home to that board. Plus the nine for most popular. So he's getting 15. So let's give him some change here. So take the five back. I'll give him two tips. There we go. So he is now on, after his last match of the turn, he's on 30. That's five. And he's got one, two, three, four, five. I'll change that up for 10. All my nice stacks have now disappeared. So that's 41 he's got at the end of his first round. And I am looking not quite so pretty on, let's change this up, three, four, five, and five, ten. So I'm on 21, which seems less, but I already have presents here. So I've already got, because I've got two in there at the end of the game, you score the number of cubes you have squared, so I'm going to have four points in there. It's still not great, but we can push on. So that's the end of round one. I will set up for round two, and I'll be back. And I actually forgot to score the uh, end of round scoring. So let's do that. We get two each for there. He's going to get five, I will get nothing, and he will get five. So he's going to get five, ten, twelve, and I will get uh, nothing there, and uh, nothing, uh, sorry, two there. So twelve for him, two for me. So he's even further ahead. So there's his twelve, and there's my two. So he has actually now got fifty-three. Okay, here we are with round two. Um, I've moved everything up. I'd forgotten to give her the um, zoo their um, initiative token when they took survey last action, last last round. So I've done that. Uh, I've set up the new uh, survey um, lineup. I've refilled the board, refilled the markets, cycled the bike market. We are ready. So the zoo is first player. So here we go with the zoo. First thing, command. They're going to place a trader and a market into the little trilobite symbol. They already have a trader there, so they won't place the trader, but they will place into there. So now there is a rule change in the expansion we've done for the zoo, where if they already have majority and they want to place, they will recall instead. So there at the moment, they were tied, so they have placed one in there. So that was one action. Second action is sell. Uh, they only have orange artifacts. Uh, let's just get the lighting right, so you might be able to see that. So you sell one to three artifacts at the most lucrative markets. So they can, in theory, sell two if there are two um, orange locations. They have two traders. There's a white which is wild and orange and white there, so they can do both. So they're going to sell both of their oranges from here and from here. Uh, let me just promote these guys up. So they actually have now three and three in here, so they're going to start recalling in theory. So we've got three matching buyers. Let's just bin those out of the game. That gives them six points. Orange is currently tied for third most popular colour. So that's plus two. So they've got uh, two, four, six, plus two is eight. Plus link two markets, another three is 11. They don't get an extra card, they don't care. So let's grab them 11 cash. They are doing extremely well. Uh, blue now drops down. So blue has finally come to drop in value. That was their two actions, but they are all out of artifacts. Me, on the other hand, I have two reds. I would like to get some more blues because those three symbols there are the three symbols I need to finish my column there. Uh, there are no reds on the board, so I'm not going to be able to fill those unless I black market that one. But I only have one blue card, but I st still think it's worth me heading and grabbing some more blue while it's still, it's still joint first, technically, with purple. And then I'll be in the purple area to pick up purple next turn. So this guy's already here, so I just need to move this guy uh, up to the blue, so I'm going to go one, two, and I'll stay there 
because this is a lower value one, this is only value 3, so there's more of those in the game already, and that's a value 5, that's going to be better. So I've done 3 movement, uh, 1, 2, 3, yep, 3, and then I'm going to discard my blue card in my second action to pick those two up. So let's mark those in my gallery, zigzag or lightning bolt and the rockfall. So I just need this symbol. Now this symbol is on the board, but I'm now out of blue cards. So I'll either need to get a broker somehow from the museum, or there is actually one command action here which lets me um, send an artifact of any colour to the museum and gain a broker. That would be pretty good, but also that symbol's in the black market. So that's one here. So I could, in theory, go and get those two from the black market at some point, which might be what I do on the next turn. So there we go, I've done the two, I've sampled, I'm done. Zoo's turn. They're going to excavate one to two of the most popular colour. So the most popular is tied between blue and um, purple, so they're going to take whichever one they can take most of. Uh, there are enough for them to take two of all of those, but they already have all the blues that are on the board. They don't have any purples, so they're going to take purples. And when there's a choice, they'll take the most valuable ones, which are these two. Um, and I believe they can take them from the same location. Oh no, I don't think it's the same location. It still has to be different locations, but I'm going to take that one and that one. They're not quite so super cheaty. So we've got zigzag and we have share symbol. Or hairpins, as I like to call them. Now uh, that was its third action. And fourth action. Oh, it's going to survey straight away. So it is going to. More card from the deck. Oh, it's a blue for blue. So no change in that anyway, but they do then get some blue from the bag. Let's see what we get. Oh, and look, they've got a mysterious artifact. They will always choose a mysterious artifact when there's an option. So there we go, and they have to put a cube on it straight away. You'll see they are rapidly running out of cubes now. They've only got six of their colour and then they get now two bonus rather than the whole set of bonus. They are rapidly running out of colour, which is good for me. Uh, this one goes on the board, annoyingly, because that's the one I need, but again, I have only blue cards. So that's their survey action, and I will this time give them their initiative token, although it won't change round order for next round anyway. So back to me. And then, yes, they did do four actions. Uh, so what am I going to do? I wanted to possibly buy from the black market to fill up my rows, because then I get extra cards. Yes, I would like to do that. So, red, I don't think I want to worry about getting and keeping red colours because there are no red artefacts on the board. So instead I think I will, yeah, get rid of all of those. Where am I closest to? Which black market can I get to quickest? That one. And I do have that wormy symbol. So I'm going to use one, and if I use that card I get an extra move. So I think I will move down here for the purple just because I'm doing one of my rounds already. I am re re What's that symbol? That partial circle. So that's one action, is that, and then my second action is going to be using that symbol for that black market, so I can now buy up to two different colours for one more than their face value. And I think it is going to be this blue to finish my blues, and this red, because that's going to be Impossible to get any more reds from the balls. I want to get the ones I can. Okay, so they go in my hidden hold. And it's going to go for me 7 and 4, which is 11. Oh, I'm back down. I've got so little cash. This is not good. And I'm really investing in blue and red, which blue is good. Red is currently tied for third most popular. So we're filling things up. So let's take samples, shall we? Right, I've finished a line. Whoop! And lightning bolt there. So I get an extra card. And the card is orange. Not too bad, there's some nice oranges out there. Be pretty good. But that was my turn, I moved and I excavated. So sorry, black marketed. He's gonna sell. Now what's he gonna sell? So he can't sell the blue. Never sells blue, but he can sell the purples. Uh, except he hasn't got any traders. So he can't actually do that at all. So he takes a failed action instead, that just gives him 10 credits. That's probably more than he would have got from the sale, annoyingly. Then he's, now he's going to excavate, so he's going to excavate one to two of the most popular colour, that is blue and purple at the moment. 
Um, blue, he would need these, uh, the uh, partial circle, the refresh button icon. Uh, there aren't any of those on the board. Purple, he can get this one. So he's going to grab that because he hasn't got it. Goes there, he will mark that. He's almost got a full column now. Well. That was his two actions. <clears throat> right, I need to get some selling done because I have too much stuff and I need to get rid of it. I could now the red and the blue. It's very useful if I can get them into the into the museum because that would be really nice. And if I go here, I can finish this. I got this wrong last round. I got looked up these wrong. That is actually we recall a cube from the uh, command center. That's move a cube between command centers or between markets. Um, so I think, I mean, I wouldn't mind another reverse engineering card. Um, but then I also want a broker to see if I can get some more of the, of, the, of the colours I want. So let me see. I think I will. Well, I do have I have a trader up here already, so I might as well go and push for that. So if I can sell another red in the kneecap area. Uh, but my only, oh yes, I've got two kneecaps, and the one I just drew has the, I call that a kneecap symbol. So that, I'm going to use that one, I think. Um, so, do I want to move into that market to push them in? I think, because there's already two reds in there, I don't need to worry. I'm going to do a command. Um, but if I want to do a command, I want to kind of use my special power. Which means, do I possibly want to do a different card? So my, this ability allows me to basically any colour that's most popular, which is currently blue and purple, and I don't really need purple now because there's no purple left on the board, I could use that for any icon, and then I could pick up, but then there's no purple on the board either, so that's useless. So, I think I will have to move anyway. So I may as well move... What's he got? He's got blue and purple. Um, there are some yellows. There is a yellow mysterious artifact, which is not too bad, but I want to keep my yellows to do a separate excavate. So maybe I want to move over to orange. I can do it in three moves with my four. I'll do that. One, two, three. I can move there, and I'm going to do my fourth onto here for later. So that's my four travel done. Then I am going to do a command, and I'm going to use my special ability. So I can command into that. Uh, Market, which is there, and I also got to either place or withdraw into here. Now that's interesting. I could withdraw. I don't have to place in there because this guy's going to get promoted up anyway when I sell. So I think actually I will. I'm going to withdraw. I recall this call instead. So I can send any artifact of any colour to the museum board and then gain a broker of that colour. So the cube I took goes back. I can send anything I want up to the museum. So if I want to get a reverse engineering card, I just need one of those symbols, which I have. If I want to do this one, I would actually finish that column and get this action. But I'm not sure that's much use to me at the moment. I might wait on that. So I might instead do this, which means if I can do a, a red or a blue of that symbol, and I do have either of those. So I think I will. Let's free up one of my main slots there. I'm going to turn the blue into here. There we go. So I get to get a reverse engineering card, so let's see what we get here. Oh, and I do have to send a cube up with it as well. So I've got, when you take an exhibit action, take the ejected visitor as a broker. That would be pretty nice, because that's about to reset anyway. Uh, immediate gain of research, and you must place it in your gallery right away. That's nice, if I wanted to fill things up, so I could get that and immediately get another card. That's very tempting, because that's going to be hard to get, because it's not in the black market, I would have to do a survey action with my red card to do that. But then gaining a broker straight away and worth 10 credits at the end. I think I'm going to have to go for that one. Which feels really bad because I like the other one as well. But I'm going to do that. So whenever I take an exhibit action, gain a broker. The ejected visitor as a broker. So I've already done that. I'm sending an artifact and I'm gaining a broker with the same colour of the item my sent, so I get a blue, pushes blue in value up a bit, he goes on to here. Now, I'm actually taking the exhibit action, so I don't think that triggers, but I think that's going to be useful. Uh, so usual rules apply to the sending of the artifacts, so I actually have to put another 
guy in here, he is going to push out that blue. I would get it if it had been an ex if it was action. I would have got it. I might check that rule to see if that still applies. Okay, so I would. <laughs> this is going to feel complicated. I have placed in the market. I've recalled from the, the command center, and I've done that action. And I moved first, so I can then do my command ability, which is also to excavate the, because I used an orange card, um, excavate the orange. So they are both equally, um, they're both in value four, so both the same rarity. Uh, that one is in the black market, and there are two of those, because you can see that one's there. I'm going to take this one. So, and I, well, of course, I'd have to take one because that's where my dude is. Okay, so this guy is going to go here, take a sample of the hairpin, the share icon, and whew, that was a big turn for me. Although, I still haven't made any money from that. Command, so he's going to put a trader into that market, which he will do, and is he already winning in there? Yes, he is. He's going to withdraw. He's going to recall that, which gets him five cash. So he never uses the action of the card. He'll just get money. Now that means that is open for business there, that command center, although I have no traders, which is slightly annoying. Um, so that was his first action. His second action is going to be excavate. So the most popular color at the moment is a three-way tie between blue purple and orange, which is very nice for this ability that I have here, because I can match quite a lot of things. So the question is, what can he get? So he has all blues apart from this one, but isn't on the map, so he doesn't really want to do that. There's no purples on the map at all. There is orange on the map. There's only one, but he'll take that. He is now full for his regular stuff. He can't fit any more things in there. And he takes a sample, which goes there. So he's getting a pretty good deal there. Now he's got a lot in there. That worries me, he's going to sell soon. So my turn, um, I have a blue broker, which I mustn't forget to use at some point. Then what do I want to do? I want to potentially sell. I've got two due to the market, although I do now have three reds, which is very tempting because I could sell a red then. So if I can push some reds into the markets, none of the other markets have any reds or whites in. So I would have to push something in. I wonder if that's worth doing, because if I can do my command action at the same time, yeah. If I use my yellow, I could do my command action and use my excavate ability to get that at the same time. But I, I don't really want that. And yellow, I can't change that because yellow is actually the tied for lowest ability, so I can't use this ability. Hmm. So I might need to, ah, oh, but I could, oh, I haven't got a blue. I don't want it to be a blue. So I don't want to pick up there. I don't need the blues. The one orange I need is down the bottom. Is it worth me moving to the bottom and then doing a command? Or shall I just sell the blues or the reds? Which will probably be the blues are worth doing. I might just sell the blues, and I can try and push the reds into the mark into the uh, museum before that that uh, custodian goes. Um, let's see. I will. Red is more lucrative at the moment, anyway, for selling up there. And if I push red in, it will become four a four way tie for first place. I think that's worth doing. I'm going to try and engineer that. So how can I get to a market where I want to be in? I'm tempted to go here to kind of clear some of this out, which kind of screws him over a bit. Yeah, let's do that. So I need to, I've got my, so I'm going to need to discard one of the other cards to actually do the movement. Right, red, I kind of wanted to do red as a survey, so I think I'm going to do orange. Um, and then let me see, because that's a three movement. Unless I want to get this guy down to here, that would be two. I don't know, one more move, which would be I could get to there. Um, and orange is tied, so I could use that, my special ability. I will do that. I'm going to do this. 
change my mind a bit. I'm going to come down here for two movement and go back over to here for one movement. This might all go wrong, but we'll see. Then that was one action. My second action, I'm going to do a market action. Oh, but I can't, I need my orange to do the market action. Dang. I might just have to give up. Oh, I was going to give up on purple anyway. I'll use the purple for the move. I'll now do the orange as the market. So I'm going to, because orange is tied for most popular, I can use my ability here to change it to match any icon. So I will pop it into there and push in an orange. Because it has to match the, uh, has to match the colour. I'm going to push in a red though. So that doesn't work. <laughs> so maybe I'll undo that. Because I really need... I might have to not just bother surveying with that. But that means I have to be in that position to put into that market instead. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I can do that anyway. And I will just push in a white. I'm not going to bother pushing in an orange because that helps. Uh, it helps him and me. But it makes orange the most popular. But I want red to stay. Ah, but I want red to be more popular. Yeah. That then defeats the purpose of me doing that. Ah, oh, so much to think about. So shall I? No, nope, I need the symbol. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make do. I'm just gonna see what I do because I'm still sent to three markets. So I've totally forgotten if that was my first or second action. Oh, I moved first, then I marked it. Okay. Let's let the bot do the last turn, and we'll see what we do after that. See if it does anything. So we're gonna mark it. So he is going to market uh, one or two traders to markets where he has no traders. He has only one trader at the moment. So we go to the little helper. Um, we need the market choice is most interested buyers from most popular colour Zoo has. So Zoo has purple and blue, um, which are, and purple and blue and orange, which are all tied at the moment for most. So biggest influence swing at the moment would be this one. So um, purple, blue, and orange. So the last one there, he'll win that one. And he pushes in the most popular. So it's the colour he has most of, he's going to push in the purple, which pushes the yellow out. The yellow is not good in this game at all. And then the other market, that is now going to be the same, that makes no difference. So it's going to be whichever ones are, see, biggest influence swing of trader gets promoted, random choice. So it's going to be uh, purple, blue or orange, not that one obviously then. Oh no, that is a blue, but he can't send the blue because it's um, a mysterious artifact. One of those two, purple, blue, or orange. Uh, there's two purples there, two blues there. Random choice from see, let's put in that one there. Okay, and he, there's no whites left, and he will push another purple into here. There we go. Phew, that's his turn. And then excavate, purple or red. Purple is most popular, but there are no purples. Red's next to the option, there's no reds, so we can't do either, he will acquire from the black market instead. And he does have space in his hidden hold. So he wanted purple, but he has that purple symbol. So he's not going to do that. He doesn't have that red symbol, so he's going to grab that one. So that is going to cost him double, which is two. Just no skin off his back. He's got tons of cash. And then we mark that in here. Now he's down to just three cubes left, so he's going to do some serious recording soon. But he's out of actions now. I have two actions left. I think it's time for the big red sale. I will, before I do the sale, I'm going to do a survey, I think. Um, although, if I pick something that's worth seven, I won't be able to afford it. Let's do the sale first. So I sell all three of my reds. To the three markets here, so that's going to be that one. Those ones and those ones. Whoops. John, back in you go, purple. So that's going to be. Um, let's put these as well because then I can see what I'm doing. So two, four, six, eight, ten credits for those. Let's push those back in a minute. 
10 credits for those. Red is now one, two, three, fourth most popular. I get no bonus. But 10 and three markets is 18 and that. And then I get to draw two cards. Discard one. Um, I'll take that one. They're like that. I promote these guys. So they're both going into that. Tied that up nicely. That's going in the middle. That's still, sorry, not tied. It's <laughs> getting closer. Uh, and then these guys come out. Okay. That was my big red sale. It wasn't as lucrative as I'd hoped on that. Um, but that was my first action. My second action. So I was going to survey. But now I have another card. Do I want to move instead to then be able to start picking up some yellows? Because this guy could get to the yellow in two moves. You can get to this one. This guy could go there in one move. That would be three moves. So I could use that for the moves and that to pick up. Um, but this is my last chance really. Unless I, if no reds come out of my hand in round three, I'm not going to get that bonus. But it is a risk anyway, trying to get the reds in there. But none of those have come out yet. So there's a fair chance I'll be able to draw some. I think... I'm just going to do that and possibly save that for next round. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a... sorry, a survey. I will push out the purple or yellow. There's already yellow on the board. I'm going to do the purple. Let's get rid of the yellow. Keep the purple. In goes the red. And let's see what I get. Bloop, bloop. Neither one that I want. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's no point in me buying one. I will just put the cheapest one on the board and the other goes back. So that was a wasted action. That's a shame. But at least we do get some red out next round. So that's not bad. So I'm going to keep that for next round. I'm going to pass. Zoo's out of actions. That's the end of the round. Let's score for majorities. He's got majority in two of them. So he's going to get 20. I've got second majority, which is where I get 10. So yet more money for Zoo and a little bit of money for me, so I'm almost up to 50, which is dreadful for the end of round two to have that little money. He is on 56, 70, 80, 97. He's way better than me. But that's the end of round two, and I will set up in a minute for round three. So here we are at round three. I've set everything up ready for that. Um, I'm skipping the preparation phases just to make it quicker, but just to see what's happened as I've flipped the uh, command cards over. Uh, we've resolved the um, survey, so we've got more tokens out the board. Uh, we've cycled the black market, and I've got my new hand of cards. So uh, Zoo is the first player still, so let's see what he's up to. So we've got to excavate. Now, he's got no room to excavate, because he is full. He can't have any more unless it's um, from the black market, so he can't do that. So he's going to go straight in, and he's going to acquire from the black market, because he does have space. And he wants red or yellow. And there are uh, red is more popular. So let's see. But there's no red in the black markets because we bought it all last round. So he will go for yellow. So he's going to acquire from the black market. He just takes the top one. That's why he, he only always takes one. We mark the sample for that. Uh, and he has to pay four credits for that. So he gets his money down a bit more. We do that. Um, and then he is going to exhibit. Okay, so we haven't seen exhibit before. This is the part of the museum expansion for Zoo's actions. So he is going to exhibit one or two artifacts of different colours in the museum. Uh, and if we look at his priority here, uh, ignore conserve, that's the old word for it, so it's exhibit. Um, so he is going to do a conserve action. He's not going to do command. He's going to do conserve because he can. So he wants to send up uh, two artifacts if he can, colour matching a curator if possible. Um, I'm going to not send the mysterious artifact. I'll explain why in a minute, but there's a reason for that. So he is going to send colour match if he can. So the colours are red, purple, and orange. He has red, purple, and orange. So we go to the next tie break. Mysterious artifacts. I'll explain why not. Lowest popularity because he prefers to sell the high priority ones. And the lowest priority out of red, purple, and orange is orange. So he will send his orange first. So I'll put that aside for a minute. And then his next one. The next most popular is, out of purple and red, is red. 
So I'm going to get the red. Uh, there's only one there, that's fine. So we're going to go red. And he's going to try and colour match. Oh, I didn't actually check that he can actually fit these in. Uh, well, I suppose I should have done that. So the orange, he can't actually fit that shape in any of the shapes there. So he's not going to send that orange. Uh, but he will send that red. He can send that red there. And he has to send a tour guide with it. I'll explain what he gets in a minute. So he's not going to send the orange because he can't fit it in to a colour match. Um, therefore, what is the other option is purple, and he can colour match any of those. Um, so, um, fewest of and lowest listed value. Lowest listed value is the two. He will send the two, and he can go in either of those. And he'll prefer, if he can, to go in a place where he has already got them, which would be there, but he can't go there. And then one which has something else in that column as well, which is me, so he will go into that one. And he will mark that, that is his penultimate cube. So once he's done that, um, that was the, cube, the selection of those. So he never gets the top bonus. I will look up what he gets instead, because I cannot remember. Um, if he chooses to send them, he will try sending two. Let me focus on that board, we can have a look at that. Uh, he's picked the artifacts, he's placed location, placed the tour guide. If he matches the colour, he gains a certain bonus. So he has placed in the outer column there, so he just gets the two credits that is marked at the top there. Gets more money for him. And then this one he has put in here, so he doesn't take the reverse engineering card, he just discards the top one. And so that's out of the game now, I'm not going to get to see that. I'm going to put it at the bottom for simplicity. And he actually gets 20 credits any time he gets a reverse engineering card, because that covers the fact he doesn't actually use any of the abilities. Um, he hasn't finished any of the rows, so none of those score. And then the last thing is to push in a new visitor. So red goes up or red goes in. And when you take an exhibit, so that's only on my action, I don't need to take that, it's slightly annoying. So he's done that, he's put two in, and he's got a whole load of points for it. So let's see how he's doing now. One, two, three, four, five. Change that up for another 50 <laughs> from the stack. He's now on a hundred and a whole load of money. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's give him a five for that as well. So he's, he's going on 115, I'm still on 40. Atrocious. But that's his turn. Um, quickly I'm going to explain what we're doing here with this. He should have done previously, whenever he can, if he does a command action, sending up into the mothership, and he has uh, a mysterious artifact, he will send that up for reverse engineering. So he actually should have sent that up in the previous round. And when he does that, he will just discard the top card off the deck again. So we can see it here in the rules. Uh, mysterious artifacts when he places and he has at least one and there aren't four already um he'll send to the mothership discard the top reverse engineering gain 20 so he should have already got so that's now gone that one he's got yet another 20. he is storming 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 uh, but he's not going to get a huge number of points from the museum and he's yeah, he's doing okay in his cassette collection at the moment um better than me i have to say so I need to start focusing, really, on trying to finish these off and get some of these columns. Now I did want to go for yellow, uh, and there are yellows on the board. I also want that last red, and that red is also on the board. And I do have a red token. It seems a waste to do a whole excavate to just get that one, although that is a mysterious. So let's see, what am I going to do first? I might because I'm nearby, I might head for the yellow while I can, because that's going to be one, two to get to there. He could go either here or here. I might want to go for that to get the column bonus. That would be three. I think I'll go for that, and I'll sort out red later. So I'm going to do three movement. Uh, one, and then he's going to go to three around the board. And then my second action, I have a whole load of yellows. So which symbol do I not need? I've got two of those, I've got two of those, I may as well just use that one. 
the yellow and I will acquire this one and this one. It goes into my cargo hold and I take samples of those. So that's the roundy one and the prongy one. So I'm almost getting that many there. Uh, and that shape is not anywhere on the board or on the black market. So that's annoying. I can't get the fifth because that would be a massive jump in points. That was my two actions. Over to Zoo. Zoo is going to sell. So he wants to sell uh, artifact colours Zoo sells, can sell most of. Uh, he has two traders. So he kind of wants red, purple, purple, blue. And he hasn't got any red or blue, but he has a purple. And he can sell two purples. So he's going to sell two purples, which are also, of course, the highest popularity. So he's going to sell those two purples. About the game, he's going to sell them to here. There we go. And he's going to sell them to... That's more lucrative. Sell them to there. So he gets two, four, six, eight... Eight credits plus the nine bonus, which is 17, plus the three for two markets is 20. He doesn't get the extra card, but he does get 20. So he's now got, I'll change that up, to get another 50. 155. Wow. Uh, he promotes these guys. So he's now got a foothold in there. I don't need this many. This is going to be withdrawing soon. These guys come back. So red has really bottomed out again. And that was his third action. So his next action is exhibit again. He's going to exhibit. Now he only has orange and yellow. Uh, there is an orange by, um, not by, what are they called? Visitors. And there's a shape he can push in there. So he's going to do that. He gets to put that in there. He also gets to put another colour. And he only has one more, which is yellow. So he's going to put the yellow in. And he will try and put it in a column he has ones in already which is there and there. And then if he has a choice, he will go to the outermost, because that will actually complete it and get... It will get him a bonus, but it gets me a bonus as well. He will go there. Ah, but he can't. I'm going to explain why. He only has one cube left, and he has to mark that. So he's going to do that. He's marked that. He's going to get the orange bonus. Now for his bonus, for the middle column, he gets an extra cube from the second cube column he's not using. So he's going to get effectively, what is a researcher, but he doesn't use researchers, he's just got an extra cube. That means he can send a second one. He's going to send that up there, and that gets him, doesn't get him any bonus because he doesn't match the colour. But that was pretty nice for him. He now has one, two, three, four cubes in there. So he's on 16 points, I only have three and I've only got nine. So he's jumped up suddenly to being quite dominating in there. It's nasty. So I could try and get this filled in, which means I would get two credits and a researcher, in theory, if I sent an orange. But he'd get two more cubes and he'd be able to do stuff. He's currently out of cubes. So I really don't want to do that. If I can go to this one, I get another one of these, and I get to possibly withdraw, recall an envoy. So that might be my plan. But he's done now. He's done his, ex his exhibit. He sent two in. So back to my turn. Um, I think I will do that while I can. So I can send, I can't colour match unfortunately because that won't fit in anywhere in there for the red match, for the sorry for the orange match. I have no red and no purple. And I do need to make space if I'm going to get some reds from the board in a minute so I will do that I think. So what shall I send up? I think if I send I really want to send my orange, but I can't match it, so... Oh! When he sent that, we didn't push a new cube in, so let's do that. So we have new guy in. Does that make any difference? No, it just pushes the purple in. It makes no difference at all. Okay. So if I'm going to do that, I probably want to be sending... I can send a match there. That will get me at least one cube. I don't really want to give him that. Or I can send this guy here and get... Oh, I won't get that bonus because it's not colour match. But I will get to recall two at once, which could be quite powerful. Hmm. I'm not too fussed about blue because I've got loads of blues. I think I will do that. I'm going to send... I can use a blue card. 
send this guy in with a cube. I don't get the bonus. But this column will complete. Do I want to send another one while I can is the question. So I haven't got any of the colour that I need to match. Although orange is now on the bottom, so I could. I could now send the orange there. Yes, let's do that. Now I'm down to three cubes, but I'm going to recall in a minute. So that has colour matched, which means I get a broker of my choice. And I've got, most I've got is yellow, so I think I'll take it yellow. Although, if I want to have, if I have to spend my red for some reason, I'll have no way of getting the reds, but I do want some more yellows, so who knows? There is a yellow matching in there that I need. Hmm. Okay, do that in a minute. So we've done that, we've got this bonus, that gives me no bonus. Both those rows are completed. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to push the new visitor in. Um, we don't push white in, so we skip. I drew a white there, you didn't see. Yellow goes in. And I get to keep this now because of my ability, which is quite nice. <clears throat> so let's resolve uh, this one first. I get two choices to withdraw. He also gets the bonus. So the zoo, sorry, I'm saying he, it's actually an it. So the zoo, or them, the zoo gets to withdraw as well. So if column completes for the inner column, uh, if it's winning any command areas, it recalls an envoy from whichever area is in the winning is winning the most. So I'm gonna do his first. So yeah, he's winning both of those. He's winning the most in that one. He takes a cube from there. Uh, now, when he does a recall, he gets five credits, and that's a general rule, which is in the the command. So he recalls for five credits there. So he's on his, and then I get two. I can withdraw two. Now, there's no point in me fighting these. I'm going to draw one of them both. Um, so I will take one from there. Now that's five credits for every filled column. Annoyingly, I haven't got my one there. That could be another really good. But I get five credits for that, and it's some money. And then I'll take one from there, and choose up to twice. I can send an artifact of any colour to the museum, or gain a broker. So, it is tempting. Now I've just got those things back to actually send these up. Uh, I won't sell, but I've got no no traders anyway. So I could, because I could send that up for a colour match. I could send both of those. Um, but it's up to twice, so it's actually technically separate sends, so I could send the same colour twice. And in fact those both match. That would get that, but I would like that researcher. Okay. I think we'll do it. So I'm going to send those two. I'm going to do those in a minute so I can just keep an eye on what I'm actually doing here because I need to resolve this column as well. So this is move either traders between trading markets or um, the, uh, what are they called, envoys between the command centres. Um, I'm actually, I can do some market, some trade uh, command actions later to get one in here or here. So I'm actually I'm gonna I'm not gonna take that bonus because I don't need to. So now I will resolve these, placing these in. So I place in, I colour match, I get a broker of my choice. Um, I will take a red now. And then this goes going in here, get two credits. And now I get a researcher, which I can place at the end of my turn, my end of the, the game, and the bot gets two more credits for, for him to do stuff. Now that's not great, but I think it's worth it for me to get more cubes in there because I get a lot more points for doing that. So I'm down to one item in there, which is not bad. So I, let me see how many of them, that was my, th my first action. That was a lot for one action. I haven't even done a second action yet. So I think maybe now is the time to do a command and get a guy up in there. Um, and then I can worry about moving him around the map next turn. That's not a bad idea, that because I can always put this guy in here if I need to. So I don't have to move around to pick up the red. Although that would be nice. Hmm, so many choices, so many choices. Um, 
yeah, let's do a command now. So I will, because I've got two yellows left, I will spend that one to do a command. So I will put one in here. I do have a blue, so I, if I could sell there, there, and one in here. Now I don't have to put one in here. I could just not bother. Um, I could decide that, in fact, I want to put it in that mark instead, because I have that symbol. And of course, I've got all the brokers. I can just change colours anywhere. But I'm happy for now with that. And then my ability allows me to pick up. Ah, but I'm not in the right place to do it. <laughs> annoying but there we go that's the way things happen not really playing greatly strategically okay he's going to exhibit again but he can't because he has nothing to exhibit uh, these by the way these are randomly shuffled in as command cards during setup so they could have been in any of the rounds it just happened to all have been in the last round so if unable to exhibit he assigns an envoy to the command center he's losing most in has fewest in or left most uh, he's losing technically he's tied there but that's where he's losing most in so he's going to go in there so he's broken the tie and that is all he does um, oh, was that two actions i don't think it was losing track no that was his one action second action and it's command so does he go into the uh the um trolley bike one so assign a trader to the market he can do that, so he's going to do that. Um, or let's let's do the, the one guy is left, I'll get confused. Then he's not going to place in here because he's winning by low, so he's going to recall that one and just get five credits for it. And I'm just going to change it up to a ten. There we go. Now, what am I going to do on my turn? I have got... I wouldn't mind getting those yellows, but I was planning on getting the red. I think now is the time, but I have to get there. So that would be one move. I really want this one, so that's three. So I'm going to go one, two, three. So I need, um, I'll have to use my four for that. So this guy may as well move back up here, for the time being, for my fourth move. And then I'm just going to go by red, and I grab this one, which is the one I need. With my last cube, Finish a row, I'll get another card. So I've got another orange. That's not bad. Um, and then this one, I'm going to take this one, obviously take the mysterious artifact. Ah, but I can't. So that's annoying. I wanted to take the mysterious artifact, but I can't take it because I can't assign a security guard to it. So the question is, I think, do I wait a turn before doing that? I think I do. I put all that back, take that out. Before I do that, I think I will recall again. Yes, 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 yes. So I can get a cube back. I think I will do that. So I will do that, yep. Yeah. So I'm going to play, let's say the blue, so don't need blue. And Although, you know, I need the symbol, I need the right symbol in the right place. Those are the one market, those are one market. Ah, I can't do the middle market. Which is annoying. Because I can't really use that bonus anymore, because I haven't got the right shape to put up, and there's only one space left in the museum. Um, I want to do that one, but I haven't got the symbol. Ah, but I can use this action. So, uh, I, what's most popular is blue and purple. So I can play the blue, that matches all the um, symbols, so I'm going to then draw that one, which gets me another five credits, because that is the hollow movie deal. And that was my second action on the turn, I'm not going to place a trader, because I want that cube. Okay, back to zoo. Excavate, one to two artifacts of the most popular colour, blue and purple. Um, he has all blues apart from the Curly Whirly, and he has all purples apart from the Rockfall, which he doesn't there. So he doesn't want any of those. So he's going to go to the Black Market instead. Again, blue and purple. He doesn't need that blue, he does need that purple. So he will take that purple. That's a smuggled grid, he has to pay six for it. So I have to make some change. Two, three, four. 
and he takes a sample and he has finished his first column. He doesn't get any bonus for that, so that's just all he does. Okay, then he does a command action. Uh, now this is a cube he can use, it's not, it doesn't count as a researcher for him. Um, so here, he already has one of those, he's not going to place one of those. He is in the lead, so he will withdraw one. That gets him five credits. That means he once again has cubes to work with. Oh dear, dear. So, I am not doing well. Now, in an ideal world, I'll go up here and sell there for the blue. But it's not ideal. What I want to do, so I'm going to do what I was going to do last turn, is I'm going to pick up these two. I get one in there and one in there. That gets me my extra card. And that was an excavate. And then what I will do, um, I think I will do a command action again, because I'm going to send this up to the mothership. Because these are all worth points at the end. I could just grab another one of those. I can also offload them to the black market, and then you get six credits for each one of them in the mothership. Uh, but that's only worth six credits at the moment. <clears throat> and these are probably worth more if I get a high value one. So where will I go? I really want presence in here now, because that is worth 10 points to me to just go in there. So Star Empire or Flower. I have the Flower, I'll use the Flower. And I will place... Um, yes, no, I haven't, anything, I haven't got anything to place in there. <sighs> so I can't do that. Um, so instead... Because I can't lose any. I can with, uh, withdraw there, so I think I'm going to actually have to spend that one. To withdraw that one, this is painful because I'm losing a lot of credits there. So I won't do that. That's silly. Let's not do that. Instead, I'm going to move to the black market and sell it. Because that's going to be worth more. I could also send it to the, um, to the museum because it's the last spot left. Oh, now that's an idea. It would colour match. So what I need to do is send a different colour. I can't send the blue. So technically I can do use any card for this then. So I may as well use that one. And I will send this up. Because that's going to increase my scores for there. I've colour matched. I get another bro oh, I get a sort of research of a broker. Brokers are worth points if you don't use them by the end of the game. Um, I will take um, a blue actually because that forces blue's popularity up and then I've only set one I now redo this visitors move up it goes back and that column is full so we now we'll get the bottom one so we can move these around so I get to do it twice he gets to do it once and there's no point in me moving those around but I will move this over to here because that's so I can then sell the blue um, and then and I won't do a second one of those unless actually that's probably worth doing there because if I do want to do that I could then recall from there if I wanted to. What does he get for the movement bonus? Let's see, uh, middle column there. Gains an extra cube from the second column. Oh dear. So he doesn't get a broker, he just gets yet another cube. He's got three cubes more. Okay, that was my second action. I think. I've lost right now. Let's see. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Yes. So his turn. He's going to sell. He only has one thing to sell. Uh, he's in two markets. Do either of those have purple? Yes, one has purple. So he will sell to that market with the purple. That goes up to here. That goes out to the game. That's worth two credits to him. Purple is second most probably, so that's seven credits. So it's not a very big sale. In fact, yeah, it's worth five credits to send it to the black. But anyway, but there we go. So he'll come home. Bling, bling, bling. It was almost like a snipe, that was. Goes in there. He's done. And his last turn of the game, he's going to excavate for no apparent reason. He wants blue or purple. Uh, there's only one blue he needs, which is as ugly as he doesn't have them. Um, 
So if he if this happens and there is actually um, he, he should be ignoring them. So what he's going to do is try and buy from the black market. He only needs the blue. It's not that one. He doesn't need the purple. So he's actually going to cycle around to find the next one he does need. He doesn't need that one. He does need that one. So he'll buy that. He's buying that for seven credits. That's cost him five, six, seven. Money pile. Uh, that's black market. Goes in there, and you can use a cube to mark that off. That's going four in a row. That's oh, that's nice. He's going to get big bucks. I am not doing so well. Um, what I want to do. So I've got three cards left. One of which is movement. Kind of. I want to sell my blue. So I want to sell my blue, which I may as well do now. Um, and shall I use the movement? Am I going to move again? Yes, I'm going to move. I'm going to keep that for now. Um, I would like to keep that in case I somehow, I don't know how I would get a cube back to place up there. Maybe take it out of here. Uh, let's use the orange. Use the orange to sell. I'm selling my one blue to this market, so that's six. Blue is the most popular. So blue's most popular, so I get another nine, that's fifteen. That's what I get, so fifteen. That's a not too bad sale, considering. I don't know how long have enough. For a fifty, let's just have a look, shall we? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 there. I feel I'm like actually making progress if I have a fifty. I'll change that to be a ten. Sixty-seven, <laughs> nowhere near. Okay. So that was a sell. And then, if I want to sell that, I would have to go to the black market to do it because I've got no traders left. Um, although I could put a trader in there, but because uh, I am in that market, but I have no, I oh know I've got no traders to place, so I can't do that. So I will move to black market. I need to. That's the only symbol I have left. So I need to move to here. Luckily, that's one, two movement, which I have. He's got nothing left, so I'm just going to take my turn again. And I'll do that to sell to the black market. That sells for four. That's a fairly poor return on that. It's all better than, better than nothing. And that's it. I'm out of actions. So we're going to do game and wrap up. So first of all, we evaluate here. He's going to get. He's winning all of those. 15, 30, 45. He gets. So let's give him a 50. That'll do. Uh, and I've got second place in two of them, so that's 20 for me. So it's a bit of money at least. And then we do, we will do that in a minute. So I'm going to do the summing up. Let's get rid of the salt stuff out of the way a bit. So let's count up how many we've got here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is eight squared. I get 64. So that is where I'm getting my points from. 60, and I've got five. One back. So that's not too bad. I feel like I've actually made some progress there. Because, one, two, three, four, five, yep, yeah, that's another 50. That's now 155. I feel like I've slightly caught up. He, however, has got one, two, three, four, so he gets another 60. Four squared. There we go. What's he doing now? So he's already on 200. Three, four, five, and we'll change that five into a ten. Okay, so we've scored that. So the last thing to do is to do the grids here. That I'm definitely placing in there. That's my researcher, and these now effectively become researchers for him. Where he's going to place to maximise his score. So I think. That's a logical place because it finishes a row. That's a logical place because it finishes a row. Um, there may be a more optimal solution there, but it, he's so far ahead. I'm not going to worry at the moment. So let's score mine. So I'm going to get 4, uh, and 15 is 19, 29, 37, for those, uh, 47, 57, uh, 64, and 69. So I get 69. 
8. I might have misgunned that, but I think that's right. So I've actually ended on 224, which is... Oh, and I've got my brokers. My brokers, which are worth points because I haven't used them. Let me just check that. So here we go. I need to remind myself because I rarely have them left. Onions brokers are worth their colours popularity bonus. Oh, that could be big. That could be big. Let's see. So I've got two blues. Blue's most popular. That's 18. Then yellow is second worst. That's another 5, 23. Uh, 23. Then red and orange, and they're all tied for third place, which is two. So what did I say? 23, 25, 27. So another 27. 25, 6, 7. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5 is 10. And those go up to 50. 251. I think that's the highest I've ever scored. So let's see if he can beat it. He's on 225 already and we haven't scored his gallery. So he's going to get two. Sorry, can't see that clearly. Two. And that is so that's eight. And uh, 17. Uh, 27, 31. 38. 43. 53, 63, 69. Uh, 79, 89. 90. 90. Wow! He might have broken 300 here. He has 100, 200, 315, and he sells any of these for their money as well. So that's another six credits. Uh, five or six. I will not bother changing that up. So 321. That's the highest I've ever seen him score. Whereas I've got 251, which is again the highest I've ever scored. So there we go. Oh. I've forgotten these. I get points for these as well. That's another 13. One, two, three. So actually I've got... It's 100, 200, 50, 60, 264. It's a record. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that run through. Um, let's have a little look again at the extra bits. Come the expansion. Um, and there we go. So. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it.